you know, he says, I don't come to bring peace. I come to bring a sword. I will divide families. I will divide believing in me, following me, honoring me is going to cause you problems. And in Luke 14, he says, if anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, yes, even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. I mean, that's heavy. Mm -hmm. That's a heavy word of the cost. But if Christ is ultimately of infinite worth and our ultimate value, we have to be willing to, to pay that cost and, and do that. It's the things of God or it's your family. But what's neat is that her, her following that dream actually, um, creates a change in the family dynamic that I think is ultimately healthier, better, mm -hmm. and, and actually expresses uh, giftings of the rest of the family in a way that's, that's so much more beautiful to see. And, and so I think then the gospel in that sense will, as you follow the Lord, do that diligent work um, to become sanctified and follow him, it will change your family dynamic. It will change your friends dynamic. It will change as people see that witness and that testimony. It can be really, really encouraging and edifying.